Josh Ellsworth with Stalls TV. In this CAD Works Live tutorial, we're going to show you how to apply a gradient of various colors to a design or text within CAD Works Live for digital printing, either for output uh, to any digital production process or to order transfers. Let's start by getting some text on the screen. Do a simple USA. Make my font selection. Go with a bolder font and a larger height so you can see what's happening here. And then all the magic happens under the fill selection. So I'll click to change the fill color. And then within the fill options, of course, I have all my standard solid colors. But if I want to work with gradients, it's just the second tab over. And at that point, I can start to create unique color gradients from the entire color palette that's available through CADWorks Live. So the default colors are white and black, and you can see the gradient effect is displayed in the bottom. So if I want to change a color, all I do is select it down here. So I'll select the white, and let's change that uh, perhaps to red. Let's change the black to blue. And then if I'd like to add a yet a third, a fourth, even a fifth color into here, all I need to do is click on the plus sign to add an additional color. It will drop that into my into my slider bar here. With it selected, I can assign the white color if I want it to be that. Then I can kind of drag it wherever I want. And when I let go, it'll refresh and give me a new visualization of what I created. So you can create a lot of unique effects. You can click to add another color. Um, maybe I want it to go from red to blue to white and then let's add one more and have it go red again. Uh, you can play around with a lot of unique gradients and create those within CADWorks and really go wild. Um, of course if you don't like something and you want to remove it perhaps I just want it to go from red to blue to red to blue rotating, I can select what I want to remove and click on the minus sign to remove that from my selection. I like the way that looks, so I'll just drop it back in with the click of a button right at the 50% mark of the design, make it white again. Once I'm happy, I can change the direction as well. Right now it's working in a horizontal direction. I can do the inverse of it, I can run it vertically. I can do diagonal, there's four diagonal options, um, but once I get my look I want, click OK, and it will automatically fill the text for me. At that point, um, it depends if you're outputting to a unit like the VersaCam and you're ultimately going to export this for print cut, you need to select a cut line under the line option, but if you're just, you know, printing this off of a direct garment printer onto transfer paper, sending it out to get a transfer created. Uh, this is the end of the step. I can click OK. Or if I want, I can add additional effects. Um, so maybe I want an outline around this as well. I can just click on Add Effect. Just do a, a contour outline. It'll default to gray, but if I want to set it off with maybe a royal outline, Click OK on that. Let's make that a little beefier. Click OK. It'll all drop, drop back into my design screen. And this is a completed graphic. This has been a CADWorks Live tutorial by Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.